Welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the puzzle called the Bulgarian Barrel. Lately I've been showing puzzles that are out of production and harder to get. So I thought I would show this puzzle that's still in production and that people can still buy. The puzzle comes in a green cardboard box like this. It's covered in Bulgarian text. I'll put up some translations so you can read what it says. It was invented by an engineer from Bulgaria named Petkio Petkov in 2011. This puzzle is not vintage, and but shares a lot of characteristics with the Russian puzzle that I made a video about a couple weeks ago. This one right here, you can see that it's they're both based on a square one mechanism with a top a middle layer and a bottom layer that are rotational. You can see this middle layer is a bit thinner and they both only cut in 90 degree slices. This one tends to jam up a little bit, but there we go, you can see. They came in three different variations. The one on the right is the one that's actually solvable and has different colored stripes. You can see how it looks when it's solved. And there's two other ones, the black and gold checkered pattern one that, was, that is signed by the inventor. And there's also one that was completely gold, which I don't have, but I'll show you how it looks. And you can see that it had a signature from the inventor and other inscriptions in Bulgarian. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get these versions. If you had to contact the inventors, there's a special promotion when the puzzle came out, as I got mine secondhand and I have no idea how the original person got them. The barrel is designed to look like a traditional Bulgarian cask, which usually holds an alcoholic beverage. You can see the way you differentiate the top and bottom layers are these little pegs that stick out. You can see that when you match up the whole puzzle, the peg side will be on where the core is pegged. And then you can see the flat side goes with the flat ones and you match up all the colors. I don't know if the camera is giving this puzzle justice, but you can see that some of the colors have a glittery or a wavy effect. And it is a very nice looking puzzle. And for turning quality, it is decent for how usually cheap these puzzles are. You can see that it's a square one mechanism cuts only in 180 degrees it is a little it is a little catchy though you can find these puzzles on bulgarian websites for about nine bulgarian lev which is roughly five dollars and sixty cents in usd now you're going to have to contact them to see if they'll ship internationally to your country or have a middleman that can you can ship to first and then they can ship to you or you can get them from the puzzle shop d.de this is a german puzzle site that now has i guess been rebranded to puzzle corner.de and they ship internationally and i have bought puzzles from him before and the service and the puzzles were very good you can see that either the russian or the bulgarian barrels have aren't solved but a user named cameron left a very good tip on the russian barrel video to use the three swap algorithm that's used on the rubik's ufo and cheese to swap three adjacent pieces i have given that try on this puzzle here but i just can't seem to wrap my head around using it on a puzzle that's only divided into two pieces which the rubik's ufo and cheese are divided into three but i think i just have to keep trying and i think that is how you solve these two pieces these two puzzles so thanks for the tip so if you are a serious collector i would recommend getting these puzzles as they do look very nice and the plastic is very glittery and shiny so they do look nice in your collection but if you're just looking at it from a solving standpoint i recommend getting maybe the original cheese or the rubik's ufo especially the rubik's ufo has recently been released again so it is pretty easy to get and it is the same solving algorithms used as always thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video about this odd puzzle that came out in bulgaria and is also manufactured in bulgaria so this is the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And here are some recommended videos.